When I painted some charcoal panels for Chef Alfred's new restaurant, a nice lady asked me if I could do the same thing for her, only she wanted her painting to be about popcorn. That's why in this video I decided to share with you my recipe for good old fashioned, super tasty Cracker Jack. If you're a fan of Cracker Jack, you are in for a treat. This recipe tastes so much like the real thing, people are going to be like, oh, where's the prize? And you know what's really awesome? It's easy to make. Here's how you do it. So first we have to make some popcorn. I have here one third of a cup of kernels, and this is going to give me about eight to ten cups of popped corn. Make your popcorn on the stove or use an air popper, but don't use microwave popcorn and don't even think about using anything that's pre-popped. So right here I have a grease baking sheet and now I'm going to dump my popcorn onto here. So just keep an eye out for any kernels that didn't get popped, you want to take those out. Next I'm going to add in a cup of peanuts, if you can find peanuts with the red skin still on them, use those because those are like the ones in real Cracker Jack. So just mix that all around, and don't forget by clicking the link underneath this video you can get this complete recipe on my blog iCookAndPaint.com. And while you're there, don't forget to check out my paintings, and for even more cooking and painting fun, follow me on Facebook, and check out what I'm cooking and painting today. So right here in a small saucepan, I'm going to add some butter, along with some brown sugar, and some molasses. So just add that in there. Now you want to stir this constantly over medium-high heat until it comes to a boil. So keep stirring it so the sugar dissolves really nicely, and as soon as you see the first bubbles like this, turn the heat down to a simmer, and let it cook for exactly 3 minutes. Then you can take it off the heat, now you add in some baking soda and salt. So watch what happens when you stir baking soda into this, you see how nice and foamy this gets? This is also how you make peanut brittle, which we will make in another video one day, but for now, just pour this over the popcorn. Then you can start stirring it in. It's going to be really hot at first, but in no time at all, this is going to cool down enough that you can start using your hands. So go ahead and get your hands in there. It's a lot easier to get that popcorn nicely coated. This will take several minutes, so just be patient. You want everything to be really evenly coated. Now you want to have your oven preheated to 250 degrees and bake it for 50 to 60 minutes. Now there is a catch to it, you have to stir it every 15 minutes. So just crack open the oven and give it a good stir. You also want to make sure there aren't any big clumps of popcorn stuck together, you want it to be nice and fluffy. So just do that every 15 minutes, and here's what it looks like after about an hour. You can double, triple, or even quadruple this recipe, and this Cracker Jack keeps very well in an airtight container for 3-5 to five days. Not that it's going to last that long. Hey, did you enjoy this video? Well, let me know by giving me a thumbs up, and leave me a comment and let me know how my Cracker Jack recipe worked out for you. Until next time, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you soon.